Mina Masood became a household name when he starred in the live action remake of Aladdin. And then three years ago, he introduced fans to his passion for food by releasing this. It's a cookbook called Evolving Vegan. This cookbook has inspired a new show. And I sat down for breakfast with Mina at Hello123 Restaurant in Toronto to talk about the show and his food journey. Here that is. I mean, I was a little suspicious when we said vegan breakfast. I was like, how do you do breakfast without eggs? But clearly, you knew where to come. Yeah, yeah, we've got um, a full spread here. You don't well. mind if we share a plate. No, no, no you, di you dig in, girl. <laughs> you dig in. Before we do that, listen, I'm going to do what I do to everybody I'm interested in and I have a meal with. I'm going to eat and just ask you all the questions. Uh, great, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I can't eat when I have to talk. That's it's good. Correct. It's Actually, good. It'll be cold. It'll be fine. <laughs> Love language for you is food. I imagine that came from your family, then from growing up. Was that the case in your home? Yeah, my mom. Um, my mom's a really good cook. And, uh, you know, when I wrote the book, because I knew that to sell the show, I, you know, had to create some sort of IP. That's a really hot thing in Hollywood, obviously, IP. And so some of her recipes are in the book, uh, you know, classical Egyptian dishes. So that's kind of where that comes from. A lot like Italians, you know, we just express love through food. food. But a lot of that would have been meat based. Yes. Yes, it would have. I, uh, I grew up eating a ton of meat, uh, every animal you can think of. <laughs> and I talk about that a little bit in the Toronto episode, actually. We go to Antler, and oh. we talk to Chef Michael Hunter, and he serves game meat over there. Yeah, we've had him on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talk to him about that. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a common line that you can talk to people about. Because a lot of people think that vegan is very militant, it's mm -hmm. very, you know, all these rules and regulations, like you're, you know, like it's a religion. And um, I think the fact that I grew up eating meat kind of helps me get through to people. Okay, so then where did the shift come for you from going, like growing up eating every animal to the shift to vegan? You know, me and my two best friends, we were living together after theater school, um, you know, we're hustling actors in Toronto. And we just decided to check out this vegan thing. You know, we had started learning about the impact of eating animal products on the environment and our health, and we started cutting things out slowly. And that's really where Evolving Vegan was born, was this idea of cutting things out slowly and seeing how you feel. And so we cut out eggs and started feeling a little bit better and then cut out red meat and started making progress at the gym I'd never made before. And, you know, I came to it slowly. So this, you do the book, now you've got the show coming and viewers are gonna be able to catch that later tonight. What can they expect? Um, you can expect really incredible food, uh, amazing chefs, amazing restaurateurs, without sacrificing any of that, you know, glory that you see in regular food shows. We, I wanted to make a vegan food show that was as close to a regular food show as possible. And so I think when people watch it, if, if they just watch it for what it is, they'll forget that it's vegan. You also go on these plant-based adventures, including yes. this one in Vancouver where you go looking, is it sea asparagus? It is, Okay, yeah. talk to me about that. That must have been memorable. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we wanted to do some amazing things as well, not just be kind of that show where you jump from restaurant to restaurant. I mean, I love those kinds of shows, but I also love those shows where you're traveling and you're exploring. At the end of the day, as much as this is a food show, it's also a travel show. So we went to Vancouver, we foraged for sea asparagus, uh, foraging is really big in Vancouver at all restaurants. You know, they use local produce, local ingredients. A lot of that is foraging. We forage for mushrooms in Portland. We also go to the oldest tofu maker in the United States. It started in 1911, and we go and visit and see how tofu's made because tofu, like in this dish, is such a staple of a vegan diet, but nobody really knows what it is or how it's made. And I wanted to show people that, like, okay, Let's find out what tofu really is. You're making vegan fun. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I, like I would have so. thought it was a lot of what you can't and what you have to do without, but this is all, this, all the cans. Yeah, it's all the cans and, you know, the, the idea of evolving vegan is a non-judgmental, non-militant way to approach plant-based eating mm -hmm. because we're seeing a real shift in the world right now. Yeah. And I just wanted to show people that the, the world is evolving towards this lifestyle 
it's important and it's time to learn about it. Listen, it's also a more affordable way to eat. We just had a federal budget. If you can grow it yourself, <laughs> you make it. Listen, exactly. you know how I learn about food? I eat it. Yes. So let's eat. Okay, Please we're going to dig in. in. Thank dig and in. congratulations again on Evolving uh, Vegan. Thank you very much. <laughs> dig in. A huge shout out to Hello123 for treating us to that delicious vegan breakfast. It really was good. I plan to go back. Evolving Vegan premieres tonight on CTV Life and Crave. They have new episodes roll out every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.